What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Double Coverage on the Road, heading to the Card Show Melbourne, uh, down at the Cranbourne Turf Club. I'm on my way on the freeway at the moment, heading down there. And, uh, well, let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's the second one of this show. Uh, first one was in January. Uh, went down there and, and spent the whole day there. Won't won't have that same amount of time today. I'm a bit time limited, but nonetheless, still like to get down there and support these shows because, in my opinion, uh, shows are the best part of the hobby. Meeting people that you may have interacted with online, uh, in person, uh, you know, giving a cheerio, you might have a coffee together, a bite to eat down at the card show, make some deals with them, make some deals with some dealers. Uh, and uh, never know what you're going to find. I think at the last uh, card show in Melbourne, I picked up a couple of Chris Bosch autos, which I'd been looking for for a while um, and uh, made a good deal there. And I also picked up some nice PC cards for my uh, Essendon PC and uh, I picked up a Anthony McDonald Tipper Moody supremacy card. So I was happy with that last time. But we'll see what we can uh, find today and uh, meeting Dommer at the door. So uh, we'll see him uh, shortly and uh, looking forward to a good show and uh, let's hope that um, I can find something for the PC and, and never know what else might pop up so uh, I look forward to hopefully a successful show um, and in my opinion regardless of the show it's always successful because I have so much fun going to these things um, but excited and uh, let's see where the day takes us gentlemen here he is the man hello sauce welcome this is your welcome. first show since you've been married it is my first show since i've been married mate and how do you feel i feel exactly the same do you have any any bankroll to actually spend at this car show or is it well, gone well funny enough i uh delved into what might be uh a little secret stash the secret scroll account the, the secret stash and pulled out some funds so yes i do have some to spend just remember what you buy now Half, well, actually, three quarters of it is your wife's. So just don't forget that. So if you buy a card here today, she actually owns more of the card than you actually do. So I just want to let you know. Fuck! <laughs> just let you know that. That's why I hold off on cards. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is the advice I'm getting from Domi is don't buy any cards. Yeah, yeah, but already, already what I've bought, she still owns half of it anyway. Yeah, she owns half of it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. You've, you, you were here before me, yeah. Domi. You've had a quick, quick uh, scope around. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Heaps of TCG, so much TCG. Uh, it's a bit smaller, I've noticed since last time. Uh, we're getting heckled by some people in the crowd, uh, but a lot smaller, uh, not as busy. I don't, I'm hoping that the crowd comes in probably around 11 ish, so in probably another 15 minutes here. Uh, it is a Saturday show, not a Sunday show, so that is a, that is a factor. Yeah, I think that's a big factor because obviously on Saturday, there's a lot of um, junior, sport. junior sports, which is I, I think may have not been thought about when they booked the show. Maybe they couldn't get, get, get it tomorrow, but junior sports and, you know, fathers having to take their kids to sport is going to be a big, you know, 
I think, factor in how many yeah, people actually so. attend this show. But nonetheless, we'll uh, have a bit of roam around, see if we can make some deals, and uh, we'll see how we go. Hopefully we get something. Anyone want to buy a One Piece box <laughs> without laughing at me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first deal of the day, picked up another double coverage, Chronicles, from the man, Adam, Dream Theater Cards, so here we go, got the Buffon and the Bala now, picked up the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and the Bala last time off him, so bang, another one to add to the collection and trying to complete the sets. Ladies and gentlemen, wholesale acrylic cases. They're pretty cool. Check them out. Uh, I believe they're on Instagram. Oh, here they are. There they are. There's all the different size cases that you can get, you know, over there. And then, but this is, look at this. Wow. Look at the collection. And I, I did ask him, are they empty boxes or are they full? And they are full. So um, that's a first edition Pokemon. There's one first edition. There's one base set. And then you've got, just you can see wow that must be a lot of money up there holy shit that's amazing that is amazing all right ladies and gentlemen first deal of the day well second deal of the day i showed you the first one with adam dream theater we go picking up those two hundred bucks here we go shiny card traders check them out on instagram um so happy couple of bit of pokemon pick up and uh, here's the rest of his table. He's got some absolute bangers in here. So check him out, ladies and gentlemen. And heaps of cheap slabs, which is I like. Look, a whole, all that Pokemon, just cheap, cheap slabs. So definitely someone here, something here for everyone. Who remembers these? These are a flash from the past. I used to collect these out of the chip packets. Look at that. Wonder if they've got any golds here. There used to be gold ones that you could collect. No, it doesn't seem as though. Bit of Yu-Gi-Oh action. Moon to Yu-Gi-Oh. Plenty of TCG here, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty of TCG. Oh, there we go. Dark Magician. Not sure what set that's from. Not, not if you're from the newer set. The go. A couple of nice cards in here, ladies and gentlemen. A couple of early day ones too. Look, 2002, 2000. Plains Charizard. Very nice. Oh, that's a beauty. You know I love a Mewtwo. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my final pickup of the day. Um, came over to the table, seen this banger there. So I'm going to pick this up. That's a Julius Irving Magic Johnson. It's warm up 
It's game used. So actually used in a game, warm up jersey or whatever it is. Bang. Absolute ripper. So thank you very much. Very happy with that one. And last pickup of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you've seen the few pickups that I got. I'm on my way out of the show. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm exiting. And i um, happy with what I picked up. I'm happy that I didn't spend too much money. I'm not going to lie, because usually I can't help myself at these things. Um, but on my way out, as I said, I had limited time in the show. So on the way out, and uh, I've got another place to be, which you will see shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the, the, the next location. Here we are. And he's turned up to see. He's turned up to see the big fella. He's suiting up. There he is out there. There he is. The big centre forward. Big Dommer, number 23, mate. He thinks he's Michael Jordan. Here he is. We're gonna we're gonna follow him around. We're gonna, we're gonna get a bit of footage here, exclusive double coverage footage. I've got a good vantage point up here too. They've just kicked the goal, St. Paul's. So I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what the score is. If I can find the scoreboard, I'll let you know. Let you know what the go is. I'm not sure if you can see, ladies and gentlemen, but the big fella's got the armband on. So not only is the is the number nine up front, centre forward, but he's the captain. Oh, look at that. He's just put a screen on. Nice, Dommer. Nice. Ooh, good effort. Great effort. St. Paul's 2-0 up at the moment. Good chest control. Out to the wing. Overlap from the right, from the right back. Too much pepper. Too much pepper on it. Ooh, not bad. The big fella off the off the crossbar from the angle. Off off the crossbar from the angle. Oh jeez. Glad I got that one on footage, Domo. That was a terrible touch. Go. Ooh, missed chance. Where's the VAR when you need it? Golasso. Good finish. Fresh off the bench too. Bang, big fella uses his strength. Here we are, second half underway. St. Paul's are up 3 0. And the big fella, there he is on the far side. There he goes with the chase down. Good effort. See if he can get kick a sausage in this second half. They're on the break here. Down the wing. Get in the box, Dommer. Corner kick.
played it short. Back to him. Takes him on. Goal. Good finish. 4 0. Even though he didn't kick the goal. Played a part in it. Nice hip and shoulder. That would have been paid a free kick in AFL too. Oh, good touch. Jeez, could have been a pen. Got none of the ball. Sit down, son. Sit down. <laughs> that was great. Oh, calm by the big fella. Don't worry about a foot race. It's about body strength. Gotta get your head to it, Thomas. The big fella's been subbed. There he is, he's on lines duties. It's Church's leagues, ladies and gentlemen, so you don't get much help other than the main referee. 4-1 St. Paul's. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, Dom is still over there on the uh, the linesman. I'm not waiting for him to come back on. That's me done for the day. Another card show and a bit of fun here, down here watching Doma go around in the Church's League for St. Paul's. Um, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, I'll catch you next time at the next card show. and. Hopefully, uh, more vlogs to come. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to leave a review on the Apple Podcasting app. Also, follow us on socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Talking old spots. Double curve.